Use a ruler to draw a straight line. Oh, they, they already got me messed up. everyone and welcome back to my channel it is ashley aka ash nyc and i'm back today with a new video with a day in the life vlog with a get, let's get this place together vlog at this point you guys already know i've uploaded a couple so if you are new here i recently moved into my first apartment so it's just more so me taking you guys along how i'm furnishing how i'm setting things up you know whatever i don't think it's a moving vlog anymore because at this point i've moved but you know it's lots of updates okay it's so many things that i need to update you on and as usual i usually save them for these videos because i want you guys to do them with me so you know i'm a real friend we talked about this in the last video but i'm a real friend because i could have well and got this place together as soon as i get the stuff because i'd be so excited when i order stuff um i just be ready to put it together and put it up but i'm like no my girls and my subbies want to see so we're gonna have to vlog it we're gonna have to do it together so i kind of compile a couple things for us to do together today well first things first subscribe if you have not already if you have been watching my videos and you are not subscribed do you hate me <laughs> do you hate me do you hate me okay good i'm glad you don't so subscribe and also for my i've gotten some new subscribers and I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, we're, we're definitely building here. That's what we're doing. So I'm glad that you are down for the ride. I keep checking my phone. I keep checking my phone because, guys, I've been creating content for three years. I'm about to get real vulnerable, so if you want to skip to the home stuff, just skip. But I have, I have to get this off my chest. I've been posting home decor reels for, I want to say, I, pro I posted the first home decor reel mid-February. And I've just, so two months ago. And I've just been like dropping a reel maybe once a week. I would say, I would fairly say once a week. I kind of upped it in the last two weeks and I've been posting like twice a week, maybe three times a week. Just like home decor reels. So very different from my normal content obviously because i didn't i wasn't doing home decor reels when i didn't have a home i mean i was at my mom's house let's say i was homeless but like i you know this is a this is a, a switch for me a change for me whatever so why and i get a normal of not okay maybe not a normal amount of views but i don't know i have ten thousand followers so like the two to five thousand range is kind of where i'm at sometimes some of my reels will hit eight thousand and i have like one one or two occasions where my reels have hit like 14,000 or something just like 14,000 views so I post my reel and um my one reel it hits 10,000 view like views in a couple of days I'm like okay literally a week later it just goes berserk like it literally hopped from like 10,000 to like 50,000 in a day and then it kept going up and up and up and now it's at 217,000 views. I'm like mind blown because I'm like, hold on, what happened? I don't know. Um, I don't know if it was the sound, I don't know. I don't think it was the hashtags at all, but I don't know if it was the sound or I don't know. I look, look, all right, let me take a step back. For my friends and you're watching this, like I have two friends that I've been to this about all the time, where it's like, I feel like I'm creating, creating, creating and nobody wants to see it. Like nobody's watching it. Maybe not nobody wants to see it, but nobody was watching it um it wasn't getting reach it wasn't reaching a lot of people it was just maybe reaching some of my followers and that's it it would not go beyond that so i would i had hit a point where i'm just like all right ashley like are you going to create for you or are you going to create for are you creating because it's fun or are you creating because you're trying to like you're intentionally trying to build you want to be a this whatever like what is the reason i had decided that if my video gets no views it was worth it to post because I truly enjoyed making it. And that's how, that's where I've been operating from since last December. I, I don't know if you guys remember, I took a really long pause, like from December to like mid-Feb almost. Um, I came back when I moved into my new apartment and I was like, cause I was deciding like, are you gonna keep creating content, Ashley? Like, are you gonna get disappointed when you only get a couple thousand views or a couple hundred views? What what's What's, what's up? Like, I really had to, really dig deep and i decided that you know what as long as i've enjoyed making it then it was worth posting and i'm just gonna keep doing it so say all that to say that one i don't know what's happening but i'm happy it's happening and i'm also really shocked that it's happening but fine and two 
um, if you're a creator, I want you to really have that same conversation with yourself because I feel like I am grounded because of that. So because I said to myself, one, you're not getting your viral moment, you're not getting all of these views and all these likes or whatever, are you still going to create content if that doesn't happen for you? Because it may never happen. It may never, like that's just the reality of the situation. It may never happen. Are you happy with the audience that you have? And I decided that I was. So like this happening is like, I'm super happy about it. I'm excited, I'm confused as hell, but I'm excited. So that was a very long winded way of saying your girl is growing and it's lit. Um, where did I, how, did, how did I get up on that tangent? I'm not even sure. I don't even know, but anyways, <laughs> let's do some home stuff. First things first, this kitchen needs to be cleaned. It, 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 my, it's not dirty. Not, nowhere in here is dirty. It's just a lot of stuff going on in a lot of places and it's driving me insane. So let's, let's be through touching up this kitchen. Yeah, come on. something i have this corner here that we are about to build a desk in but it's clearly a billion things in there over there right now so everybody was telling me to go to dollar tree i don't know why i got y'all solo everybody was telling me to go to dollar tree for my glassware um what so i did i went to dollar tree and i got all the glassware that they told me to get and then what is this um cable raceway oh so this is the cord we need to hide my tv cord so I bought this from Amazon. Hopefully I'm smart enough to figure out how to put it together. So I'm gonna just slide that over there. And then um, these are, oh, the shelves. So I bought acrylic floating shelves for my bathroom. I have to bring you guys closer. So I bought acrylic floating shelves from Amazon. These are gonna be for my bathroom. I'm just not gonna put them up today though because I have a bunch of different shelves that I need to build out for my bathroom. I have shower shelves that I got. I have wall, sh like wall shelves, these shelves, and then like this over the toilet storage thing. We're gonna do a dedicated bathroom, like do over or bathroom organization, whatever. We're gonna That's gonna be its own video. So I'm gonna hide this. I'll probably put this in the closet. And then, oh, this is what we're gonna do today. Okay, so I got LED light chips. I want them to run along like my islands and i want them to run under my cabinets i feel like that'll really set it off and then i kind of if i have enough i want to put it behind my tv and then if i really have enough i'm gonna put it behind my mirror so i don't know how much i bought really i don't know how much i bought but hopefully that can at least do the kitchen and then i can buy, purchase like a separate one for over there but i don't know let's see and then i got this so this um is again it's gonna have to be another like its own oh, they're so beautiful okay this is gonna have to be its own project as well so i got these little containers for my seasoning not aesthetic girl okay um i bought these containers for my seasonings i bought them on amazon they are going to be their own kitchen like organization haul video as well i didn't really count it out honestly i just really like these i couldn't find ones that i liked but then i found these and i was actually really a big fan of them so i purchased well i sent it to my friend and she purchased my girl so when i posted my um what did i post oh my glassware and i had gotten like a ton of glassware from amazon so when i posted that you should have seen the people going crazy like you could get the same things at dollar tree you should just go to dollar tree first of all no i can't because i went to dollar tree which which i would firstly like to say that dollar tree is now a dollar 25 tree because why were all of these items at 125. 
So I got this, which is just like, oh, it's a vase. Well, I'm gonna be using it as a vase. I'm gonna get really small white roses and put it in here. Shimmy, so cute. And um, I also got like a round fishbowl looking one. I think this one would also be like nice with like white tulips, real or fake. I don't know. We're going to go to Michael's and get some flowers. I try. Amazon is too hit or miss for me with the flowers. So I just get them at Michael's where I can see them. I can touch them. And then Michael's always has like 20% off. So, you know, um, got this glass bowl. It's like a glass plate, um, a salad plate. And... A, um, like a bowl and then I got this vase as well just like a regular honestly it looks like a carafe but I'm gonna be using it as a vase it's cute it's nice it's thick okay that's what I will say so I buy a lot of glass items off Amazon but these are like like noticeably thicker and heavier um, Amazon glass is very thin you will break it prepare to break some glasses from Amazon because you probably will. I'm not. I'm not even gonna like sugarcoat it or anything. You probably will. They're very thin, like very thin and probably cheaply made, but they look great. So I mean, um, and then I also got these little saucers. I got a four pack. I just really like these too when I'm cooking or when I'm baking. Um, to have these little clear saucers. I like clear things. I'm in like a clear stage right now. I just like my things glass and I like my things clear. Um, so don't judge me. So anyways, that's all I got. I spent $9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn, can I count? Six? No. Three, six, seven. I paid set, I bought seven items. I paid nine something. Because they're $1.25. Plus tax. These are the Daylight White LED strips. I don't actually know how to do this. I don't know how to use it. I don't, I have no idea. I have no, no not, not a clue. Okay. Okay, there's, there's lots of things. Okay, there's lots of pieces. There's lots of pieces. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm smart. Jabria, are you smart? What the freak? I'm so confused. All right, um, cause I was under the impression that you would be able to cut this and place it in various places. So I'm actually realized now understanding. What the heck? I have to go read. I have to go read the instructions. I'm genuinely confused. Okay, so I figured it out. Women in tech. Okay, Wo women in STEM. Okay, I figured it out. All I figured out is that it won't work. I have to basically buy another adapter and some other stuff for it to work, which is stupid. But it's fine. So this is this is what comes, right? So it's the LED light, this this thing, and then it comes with the remote, and then it comes with this is the thing that actually goes into the wall. Okay. Now you're supposed to do it, put it along, put it along, put it along, and then cut where you need it to stop. Once you cut, however, the rest of this becomes unusable. So you, so in order to make this usable, you would have to then go out and repurchase a remote, some type of adapter thing, and then the wall plug-in. After I spent $30 on this, what makes you think that I would go out and purchase more every time I cut? You, I'm not doing it because now it's sounding like an expensive accent and... Um, this doesn't make any sense. So what I'm gonna try to find is I'm gonna try to find maybe like battery operated ones or something because this is not This is not, it's not gonna work for me. So that's a bummer. Let me tell you why that's a bummer. That's a bummer because if I can't put up the LED lights in here, I can't put up the um, LED lights behind my TV, which means that I can't put the cord runner here until I put the LED lights up because it'll also need to be hidden by the cord runner thing. Actually, let me look at the instructions because clearly I don't know what I'm doing today. And yeah, it's like a cable raceway. Wipe, okay, the instructions are on the back. Wipe clean the wall surface, not suitable for texture, which is fine. Use a ruler to draw a straight line. Oh, they, they already got me messed up. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Can't draw a straight line with a ruler. 
<laughs> um, cut the channel to your desired length, stick the tape on the back of the channel, place the cable inside and then snap the cover. Oh, I can because I'll be able to just unsnap put the LED light in and then snap it back. See, it's giving task grabbing and you guys know I'm not a task grabber girl, but like this is busting my brain. And I don't know if it's worth it for me to stress myself out over this. I don't know. Um, I got these pillows from Target that came today. Pillowcase covers from Amazon. So I'm gonna stuff the pillow in here, see if I like it. So it's not a Euro pillow size. I feel like the Euro pillow is larger than this. But um, this is the pillow is 24 by 24. But the pillowcase is 22 by 22 because I read somewhere online that like if you buy a smaller pillowcase for like for example the pillowcase is 24. The pillowcase is 22, but the pillow itself is 24. It'll make it look more fluffy. I don't know if this is for my bed or my couch yet i'm not gonna lie oh see it does look a lot fluffier i like it i like it so cute these are so cute do, 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 do. i like them i really do um so they're not for here but i think i'm gonna put them here for right now this is the pillow that came with the um couch obviously it's the same pattern and then I have some more pillows downstairs. They got shipped today from Target. I bought this pillowcase from Shein. That's another thing. Who knew Shein sold pillow? I know you guys are having my slippies. Who knew Shein sold pillowcases because I had no freaking clue. Um, so I got this from Shein. It's, I wanna say it's 18 by 18, I think. And then I also got this one from Shein. Um, and the uh, this is a 14 by 20 or something 14 by I don't know, but if this is the texture um, And this is also what I have um, As a square pillow on my couch in my bedroom on my like accent chair So this was gonna it's when I get this shaped pillow. I'm gonna put that in there as well I also just got a target box I don't remember what I ordered. I'm not gonna lie to you Let's see I feel like it's just pillows. If I'm not mistaken, it should just be pillows and blankets because Target had 20% off. They still do, by the way. Target has 20% off bedding. Um, so, should just be pillows. Oh, this looks a little gray. Ugh. I think these pillows are 18 by 18. That's these right here. Um, so more or less the same size that's on my couch and then this is the 14 by something I don't remember but it I have the pillowcase for it and then I got this chunky knit throw that mm, maybe I'm on the fence about <laughs> and this neutral I don't know if I like this color it's pulling gray it's supposed to be a neutral color but actually Oh, I don't know. But I am gonna throw the pillows in the dryer. Every time I purchase pillows, I just put a little dryer sheet and I let them spin for a couple of minutes just to like get the dust out of wherever they're coming from. Get the germs, get the dust. If there's bed bugs, get the bed bugs. I dry the pillows. What I also really like about drying them when you first buy them is that it really fluffs them up. Like this did not look like that because it was stuff, stuffed in that little bag. Um, Okay, so like I said, I got this pillowcase from Shein, Shein, Shein. Um, I never knew that they sold like home stuff, but Shein's low-key trying to be the new Amazon. I don't know if you peep, they have like a home decor section, they have like a kitchen section. Now, I'm not big on Shein, 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 whatever. Um, the 14 by 20, uh, which is like the long one. And now I'm not big on Sheen, but I had went there to purchase. Oh, my last vlog, you guys saw. I had went there to purchase some gym clothes. So like gym t-shirts and stuff like that. So I'm happy that I bought. Dang, is this the right size? Yikes. I mean, it's going to fit. <laughs> I'm going to make it fit. But I think this might be. I don't know if I'll be able to stuff this in. Let me just try and see what is hemp up. And it's hate. So I might definitely go back. 
and see if there's any more pillow cases that kind of catch my eye. I love it! So yeah, it's these two. These are a matching set, legit from Sheen, $6 each, which I think is a steal. I have this that I also got from Shein. I just honestly don't know why I added this, but since it's here, we gonna throw it on here. And this is it, it's like a fluffy pillow. Um, just the pillows? Or like, do we need the blanket? You, you get me? I'll leave the blanket for now and I'll keep this to pillows, but I don't think I'm gonna need this many pillows. I can't even lie to you. I think I just need one and one, but for right now, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it stay. Cute, very cute. I, have, I don't really know how to style a couch. I don't know how to style a couch, okay? So somebody gonna have to help me. Y'all gonna have to help me. Wow, this is awful. The story is I have finally have pillows on my couch. I think I just need an accent pillow. I definitely need something more color. This is giving just beige and I'm not really, to say I'm not into that would be a lie because you guys watch my videos, but I don't, I think it needs something. Like it can't just say beige. It needs, whether it be a pop of color or a different shade, something has to give. So, okay, that's that. I need, it's so dark in here because I closed my blinds. I need to open this mirror. Let me tell you what happened with the mirror last time. So I had purchased this mirror last time and it came completely shattered. <sighs> okay. Please do not be broken. I am begging you. Don't be broken. Please, please, please. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Oh my god, I don't even, I cannot deal with this. I honestly, I have to take a picture because I know that they're gonna give me a really hard time to return it, but I just wanted y'all to see the freaking struggle. I'm so upset because they're gonna really give me a hard time to return this, but look at it. Like, I'm really so mad. And for this to be, this is actually a very pretty design, but for this to be how the second time this has happened to me is like, all right, so I'm clearly wrong with y'all. Some mom with the way y'all ship and stuff because there's no reason why this is the second time this has occurred. And if it happened to me twice in a row, um, I can only imagine that it's happening to customers over and over. You get me? <sighs> this is so irritating. I am so irritating. Y'all, we need to talk. We need to talk because that just really stressed me out and Cause I just know that return process is about to be hell on earth because it always is. Oh my gosh. Um, so anyways, I'm trying to figure out if I should call it quits or do the, I have like a couple of other things to do. Um, because after failing twice like that, I just, the girl's a little discouraged. So I'm so mad about this mirror. Like I'm pissed. <laughs> So I'm so upset because I shook it too. Like I'm like, let me see if I hear any glass pieces. I didn't hear any glass pieces. Like I really had my hopes up. My hopes were up and my hopes shattered like the mirror. Now let me tell you about the bookcase because shit just be going left. So about this bookcase, this is my second time. I had to send, I ordered it. They sent it to me. Pieces of the wood were chipped as if somebody dropped it. Um, inside the box, they were chipped, so they were they were they were dropped. The box was dropped. It wasn't chipped like horribly, but it was chipped, and I just felt like I paid a hundred and something dollars for it. Like, why would I? You know what I'm saying? Like, once you pay for something, unless they were gonna give me a discount, which maybe they would have, but I don't know. I just felt like you know I'm paying for it, and I sent it back to Home Depot, and I purchased another one, and they sent it to me. And so today, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm hoping that it's fine because. Last time it wasn't. So that being said, I'm nervous, but that's the only other thing that I feel like I'm excited to like put up. Like I wanna get that bookcase up because um, I need somewhere to work. And there's also a nice empty spot right over there. That's where it's gonna go, right in there, that corner. 
that I'm ready to fill up. So, I don't know. My mom's calling me, so I'm going to call her back and decide what I'm going to do. Hey. Okay, so after eating lunch and relaxing and finishing up some work, I've decided that I will not be defeated and that I will at least attempt to build out the desk. Maybe I can decorate it another day. Um... Because I don't really have a lot to put on it, if I'm being quite honest. But I could decorate it another day, but I kind of just want to see it up because I want to order a chair that can go with it. When I say desk, I'm using desk and bookcase interchangeably because it's a bookcase that like kind of doubles as a desk. So if I remove the chair, like it, it literally just looks like a bookcase. But like if I push the chair in and put the laptop there, you'd be like, oh, it's a desk. I don't know. It's really cool. I found it on Home Depot. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to just build it because i'm tired of failing today so if i could at least build it out that's one less box that i have like over there in a crazy way had to take my spot it wasn't something they just gave away sorry on my face i might have caught me on a crazy day fuck you niggas thinking trying to block me on a fade away i've been on this shit i only five with a payday say you go that way i guess we both go the same way girls want girls where i'm from yeah yeah where we both from hey you just got to Miami, they hotel rooms. They just told you that they love you, but they fell through. So you shot 42, cause you, hey. And you throwing on that dress, cause it's see through. Yeah, talking all the shit that you done been through. Yeah, texting me and say, I need to see you. I don't know. Talking all the shit that you done been through. Yeah, say that you a lesbian, girl, me too. Hey, girls want girls where I'm from. Hey, yeah, girls want girls. Where I'm from. Girls want girls. Where I'm from. All right, so this is where things get a little hairy because the the instructions specifically say make sure you do this with two people. You have to do this with two people, but I don't have two people here, so I have to do it. It really is a stain on my shirt. Where did I get that from? What did I, well, I was doing a lot today. Anyways, but I don't have two people, so I'm doing it by myself. It looks really good, doesn't it? Do I like it? I think so. I think it's nice. I wanna see it. I wanna step back and see it. So I'm gonna have to lean it. It's not leaning. Okay, now it's leaning. Damn, lean. I just wanna see you. Um, can we talk about the big struggle that has been today? Let me tell you what happened with the um, with the bookcase. So I built it out. It looks really nice, by the way. I'm really liking it. Now, I put, I don't know if you could see them. I put the four holes in the wall, but for whatever reason, the drill is not going through. So I can't get past the hole, meaning I can't put a screw in there. So I need to screw the bookcase to the wall, but I can't because I'm hitting something. So basically today was a big ass fail. Starting with me not being able to put the lights up, me not being able to put my mirror up because it came broken and now I can't put the bookcase up. Hi guys, editing Ashley here. Wow, this is a terrible freeze frame. I look busted. Um, I just wanted to close out the vlog here because I started going off on a whole rant um, and it was just negative and not the vibe. So I had to cut that out. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. We failed a lot. But you'll see in next week's video that a lot of the things came together. So we are happy regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna see you in my next video. Bye.